Israel. Dan Arnold grew up here in Brisbane, spent seven years working in France, restaurants, and Serge Vieira, also coming eight from a Boku store coloured the Olympics in 2017. He and his wife Amelie opened restaurant Dan Arnold in July 2018. Dan, welcome to Gonya. Thank you very much. What's your philosophy on food and cooks? I think Probably the most important thing is to do the best job with the techniques and the, the skill we have with what's available, with what's put in front of us. I think it's hard for us to say here in Queensland that we work seasonally because the seasons aren't a traditional four season approach. I think speaking to someone the other day who actually said we have eight subtropical seasons here in Queensland. So that probably been the hardest learning curve for myself is adapting to that, working to these new seasons. So that's where we really say what's best right now that's put in front of us and then it's our job as chefs to turn that into something uh, for the customers. So how often do you change in the menu in that case? The menu itself as a whole piece doesn't change entirely. We change a dish almost every week and then we really are uh, sort of controlled by what comes to us. So if something's not available, we're not going to go and get it from another place in order to not change the menu. So sometimes we'll have five different tables on different menus in the one night because we're limited by the amount of one certain ingredient we can have in its prime at that time. And what, what was your original vision for this restaurant Dan Arnold? We just wanted to have a place where we could share our experiences and what we've learned throughout our travels throughout the world and obviously from where we've worked in France and bring that back here and give it our own Brisbane take on those spots. And uh, have you achieved that or have you had to change things? Look, I think we've achieved that, but every day is, uh, we discover new things about ourselves as well. So we feel like the restaurant's come a long way in one year. It's probably still in the same direction that we imagined, but there's certain elements which have been added on or taken away that we could never have thought were possible. And I think reflecting back on our one year of being open, we couldn't be happier with where we are. Um, what are some of the learnings and triumphs of opening an independent premium restaurant in Brisbane? Well, I think the, something Serge always told me when I was his sous chef was that if only he could just cook. And I never understood what he meant, and now I do. Because the happiest time for me is when I get to go into the kitchen for service or to cook or to prep, when all the little handyman jobs are done, when all the ordering is done, when all the human resources are done, everything else that entails being a restaurant owner, restaurant yep. hotel. When those bits are done, the cooking is the easy part. So that's what we've learned the most in this first year is, is how to deal and adapt and, and run this side of the business and then the cooking we leave to itself. And you seem to be quite keen on the collaborative approaches with, with your meals with, for example, Josh Lopez, an upcoming wine dinner as well. How, how do, these, do these work well for you? Yeah, these are great events for us because it gives our loyal customer base, something new, something different, which you know, it might not necessarily be when they would come here for their standard meal once a week, once every two weeks. So that's where it's really for us to show them something different of our skill, but also to give them something that they wouldn't always have in you know, dining either. Do you think restaurant styles are changing? Brisbane seems to be going a little bit on the casual side. How, how difficult is it to run a premium restaurant? Look, it's hard for me to comment on that because I wasn't here when this apparent change happened. I was in France for the last eight years, so we came back with a certain vision of what we wanted to do. We believed in that and we've stuck to that. And for us, things couldn't be better. I think there's a certain tone in the dining scene in Brisbane. I don't think casual is the right word for it. I think it's just a Brisbane approach to dining. And we feel like we've got our own Brisbane approach to dining. I wouldn't call it casual, I wouldn't call it fine dining, I wouldn't give it a label if we didn't have to. Unfortunately some people want to label things, it's, a, it's an easy way to speak about it, but for us it's just our restaurant in our way and we try to make sure that it's going to appeal to the masses, but also have a point of difference which is also going to you know, help us to continue to succeed. And have you established a good regular clientele as well? That's quite important. Probably has been the biggest surprise opening this restaurant is just how much we have grown a regular loyal customer base in only one year. Uh, I haven't worked in restaurants in a city for a very long time, so we're very much a destination restaurant. Now, so it's, it astounds us every day just how much 
people love what we do and continue to support us. I understand, I read somewhere that you got your first experience in the kitchen with a sizzler, which is honestly a very different uh, animal to, to what you're doing now, but how important is that early grounding and the basics, do you think, for young chefs? If you, you know, telling someone young and they were starting off, where should they be going? Well, I've always said that sizzler wasn't what made me want to cook great food, it's what made me want to be in the kitchen, day in, day out. It was the adrenaline, the ambience, the atmosphere, those, all those elements put together, which made me pursue further my career in cooking. I always loved cooking at home, I always loved eating. Food's always been very important, but it was that first experience in the kitchen, the camaraderie, that's what really pushed me in towards my apprenticeship, and then further down the line, the career as a chef we have now. And, and you would recommend this as a career for younger people? Oh, absolutely. I think um, it's a career of passion. And I think those who really truly believe in what they do and are willing to work hard for it will always succeed. I think there's plenty of opportunities for all different spectrums of chefs, from those who are just looking for a job to pay the wage, all the way up to those who are looking to invest all their time and energy into it. There's an array of restaurants for all these people. So I say the more the barrier in the industry, it's just about supporting the ones in, in their chosen path in the industry. Thank you, thank you, Dan. Really right, appreciate you your comments, much. and uh, thank you. For, and I hope everybody continues to come to Van Island. It's uh, been a great success. Thank you thank very you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.